new Star Citizen Alpha 3.21.1 patch just dropped into the EPTU. This time around, it's up to Wave 3 testers. For this one, there's a few updates they made pertaining to features. The very first one is under the location category where they said they've adjusted the gloss value of screens around Area 18 and Grimhex to eliminate the strong glare and improve screen readability. Also pertaining to new Babbage, they've improved the signage art um, and have done a polish pass as well. Under Seraphim Station, they've done an exterior lighting polish pass as well. Under gameplay, they've also done some work on the tractor beam gameplay itself. They've uh, implemented new dedicated tractor beam UI. They added a target distance indicator as well as they added range bar, added time transition to bar. They've also done UI fixes for max angle and deflection and stats. So that's going to be interesting to check out. Um, under AI, they have AI ship cargo manifest balance changes as well. Rebalance the cargo amount and types that spawn inside of derelict and ai ships in pu using the new distribution algorithm so it looks like the money we've been making is probably going to reduce <laughs> all right under ships and vehicles they've um done a mass balance and this is going to be a first part it says that they made changes to the tumbro nova corsair vanguard caterpillar mole raft star runner have all had a balance pass on their actual masses in the universe. So it's possible that this may actually affect the way these ships fly, but we'll have to see, especially in atmosphere. So we're gonna have to test these things out. All right, under bug fixes, they actually have quite a few. The first one is regarding Siege of Orson, where um, Siege of Orson killing nine tail sympathizers give crime stats. So they fixed that issue. They've um, Fix an issue where some AI do not leave their spawn closets. They fix an issue where hostile AI ships unstream shortly after spawning. They've also fixed an issue where players are able to manually deactivate and self-destruct sequence on the CH ship when flying too far from the event. All right, so they also fix an issue where data pad will fall through the floor when placed in Garcia Greens. They've also fixed an issue where spawning specific ships will cause them to spawn outside of the hangar. They've also fixed an issue pertaining to the F8 main thruster sound not working. Also, AI reinforcements are not arriving instead. This is pertaining to the data heist mission. Also, pertaining to the data heist mission, it says server closets to the mainframe S594 will indefinitely halt and upload if disconnected all right that's good they also fix an issue where enemy ai can spawn out of bounds of their intended spawn points they've also fixed an issue where room systems do not protect player actors from extreme weather conditions in lorville interiors they've also fixed an issue where removing a vehicle tractor beam off of the ship using a multi-tool tractor beam leaves the vehicle tractor beam unmanipulable and non-functioning they've also fixed an issue where tractor beam object components has noticeable lod transitions when the player is nearby they also fixed an issue allowing players to use tractor beams to move all ships while their shields are still enabled they've also fixed an issue where the a1 nameplate logo appears on the left side of the c1 variant They've also fixed an issue where the player spawn slightly stuck in the ground. That's interesting. They've also fixed an issue where the quantity multiplier will remain blank. Now this is pertaining to the live fire weapons kiosk. They've also fixed an issue where during the new player experience tutorial, picking up the helmet object will cause the player to be unable to look around. That's good to hear. They also fix an issue where the left hand of the female character do not hold the second hand dedicated tractor beam. I thought they did that the last time. I guess it was still broke. <laughs> They've also put in multiple fixes to help players corpse falling through planets surfaces when falling at speed. So that's interesting to see. They've also have they also have three client crashes, five server crashes, as well as some server performance optimizations for ship debris. 
I'd like to let you guys know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video.